It's a match reckoned to be about the biggest in Motherwell's history. And a tremendous atmosphere inside the Westfalen Stadion in Dortmund. Which is packed to its UEFA capacity of 36,200. And about 1,000 Motherwell supporters here to give some vocal support as Merlin breaks from midfield. He's brought that instantly by Jamie Dolan. These opening stages from Motherwell absolutely crucial, but they must give nothing away in this opening spell. Jack Wizat attempting the return pass. Reuters pace recognised by McKinnon. Sharp play by Arnott, and this is Lambert. Shannon, Coyne, here's Arnott again, just two of them up. Supported now by Davis. Here's Tommy Coyne with a chance. The great effort by Coyne. Sama. Forward towards Chapuisat. Confident play from defence by Monowell. That's great play by Lambert. He has Arnott with him. Coyne over on the left. Billy Davis is there too. That's for Davis, then Coyne. The chance is on this time. Scrambled clear as Lambert came in. Another superb attack from Motherwell on the counter attack. And the German defence clearly in difficulties here. There was Tommy Coyne playing it across. It looked as though Lambert was sure to score, but the cover was good. Sock. Lambert making a challenge and winning possession well for Motherwell. Playing it through a gap, looking for Arnott. Cesar's control lets him down. Here's Tommy Coyne. The great effort by Coyne and brilliantly saved by Stefan Klos. Well, the most relieved player in the field will be Julio Cesar, whose error gave Arnott the chance to set up Tommy Coyne. That was on target all right. Bringing out a marvellous save from goalkeeper Klos. That's Schmidt. Dolan's clearance, just on and up front with Cree. He's very strong in doing that position. That's a good pass. Now Shannon. One was made by Arnott. He wants the ball now. The back killer finds Arnott with the Lambert. Ryan Hart. Good running from the back by Cree. Good defending goal. Lambert and Philippin. Davis trying to find Coyne, he's managed to do so. Well, he did force the striker to turn back. That's Philippin. Strong, determined play by Philippin. Retaining possession jealously there, setting up Lambert. Space here now for McKinnon. He's run at Reuter. Davis goes outside him. Oh, great play by McKinnon. A wonderful move again from Motherwell. Well, what an impact they're making on these proceedings. Adjusting to European football with fervour and with real commitment. Oh, not going to touch. Mistake by Cesar. Here's Tommy Coyne. And he's missed. A golden opportunity there for Tommy Coyne. That'll weigh heavily on him, I reckon. He couldn't have a better chance here. A dreadful error by Cesar. Coyne was on the ball in a flash, set himself for the shot, and it's agonizingly wide of the post. We're finding this very tough indeed to watch from the sidelines. Having been involved in so many big European nights himself as a player for Aberdeen in Scotland. Kieran pumping that in, looking for Tommy Coyne. The header was by McCart, it wasn't far away. He wasn't spotted, stealing into the penalty area there. Paulson, it's a good ball in, the chance on this time. And once again it breaks off Philippin. The effort by Chapuisat, an acrobatic one, which didn't quite come off properly. Here's Paulson again, he made a difference to Borussia, no doubt about that. And there's Muller, that's the opener. It's been threatened for some time. 12 minutes into the second half, Andreas Müller, the most dangerous player in Everest tonight for Borussia, takes this pass 
from Fleming, Paulson on the run, fine control for the cutter bars of Philibert and volleys in beyond Stephen Woods. And the flags are now waving all around the West Valley Stadium. The tie would be transformed, of course, by the Motherwell equaliser. Lambert plating it in. That's Brian Martin. Couldn't quite get his head to that. Coyne lost it back in. There's Catch! Trying to steer the ball into the far post. Quite deliberate that from Catch. Decided not to go for power, but to go for accuracy. Head experience by Samar came into his path. And it was a very good effort, about a couple of feet wide. The tackle came from Paulson. And the recovery was made by McGrillan. He's in trouble. Paul McGrillan, a tackle on Samar, which results in a red card for Paul McGrillan. Paul McGrillan's been ordered off. It certainly was a crunching tackle on Matthias Samar, diving in with his boot up. And when you see him catch Samar just below the knee, he really does have no complaint. A reckless, a reckless act of folly that by McGrillan. Model defence, grouping well again, but the clearance is finding Borussia players frequently. But the final whistle goes. The referee only adds on about a minute and a half in injury time, and that suits Motherwell, who've come here and performed splendidly over the piece. They might well have got into the lead in the first half when they passed up, by my reckoning, five good chances. But in the second half, it was backs against the wall, and Borussia only have the Andreas Müller goal. In 57 minutes to show for their efforts, the one bad point apart from that from Motherwell was the ordering off of Paul McGullan, but they've carried the Scottish flag proudly into Europe, and the second leg in a fortnight's time is one not to be missed. The final score, Borussia Dortmund 1, Motherwell 0. Alex, still bedlam here in the Westfalen Stadion. What's your reaction to the performance? Well, if somebody had said to me before the game, we just take one nothing, it gives you a chance in the second leg, then I would have said it, yes. But in the dressing room there after the game, I can't believe I've lost the game. We played so well, and I felt, you know, that the missed chances might have cost us dearly, and, and that's the way it proved. But I felt that, that we should have beat Dortmund here tonight. Were you thinking about getting an away goal? Was that a big priority for you tonight? Yeah, it was. Um, it, it, it wasn't the, the ultimate priority, but it was it was uppermost in our minds and away goal, you know, how valuable they are. But we knew that we would get chances if we kept our composure and passed the ball about and then the players were absolutely brilliant. If not, I can't praise them highly enough. You know, for the goalie right out to the substitutes, Paul McGrillan's um, maybe a wee bit over enthusiastic writing time up there, but you know, I think it was just a measure of how determined the lads were. They played nine internationals on the side starting the second half. Do you think this says something positive about Scottish football? Well, absolutely. You know, I, I'm no, I said before the game, it's, I don't feel that we're carrying a torch for Scottish football as such, but there's a lot of good players in Scotland, and if we can just um, get in our heads that we must pass the ball, then you know, Scotland could do well at any level, and Scottish teams could do well at any level.